Hey, what is up YouTube? How are you guys doing today? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. My name is Tobias and welcome to my YouTube channel. Happy Microphone Monday and welcome to another microphone review. Today, what I have for you guys is a review of the Toner TM20. It's a USB conference microphone. It goes for $29.99 on Amazon. I'll go ahead and put the Amazon page up right here. As you can see, it comes with free shipping and comes with free returns. And if you wanna check out the Amazon page for yourself, I'll go ahead and put the link down in the description of this video. It's supposed to have an omnidirectional pickup pattern, which means that it will pick up audio equally from all around the microphone. And just to be clear, it might look like a speaker, like kind of like an Alexa or something, but it is not a speaker, it's just a microphone. And if you look right there on the picture, that button in the middle is a mute button. So as usual guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing followed by a demonstration, followed by a review. And if you decide at any point during this video that you do actually like this video, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. And if you'd like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. I upload new microphone reviews every Monday. I call it Microphone Mondays and let's go ahead and get right into this. All right guys, so here's everything that came inside the box. Of course over here we have the instruction manual. We have a little card here with some warranty information. We have the actual microphone itself. And of course the USB cable so you can connect it to your computer. And just for size reference, this is the microphone in the palm of my hand. Um, It's got a decent amount of weight to it. It's not super light, it's not super heavy. It feels like it weighs what it should. As you can see, the bottom of the microphone seems to have some rubber padding to keep it from slipping around so much. And just for some more size referencing, here's the microphone next to my computer keyboard, and here's the microphone next to my mouse, and here's the microphone next to my coffee mug. And it looks like the microphone has a diameter of just over four and a half inches. So I took a quick look at the user manual, and it's more or less self-explanatory, but they do have a diagram right here of the frequency response. It looks like it's most responsive at around 4K, and in the frequencies higher than that, it starts to dip down a bit. All right guys, so I just connected the microphone to my computer and now let's move on to the demonstration portion of this video. So I'm going to demonstrate it in two different ways. First, I'm going to just record into Logic Pro while monitoring the audio on my headphones and you guys will be able to hear the direct audio from this microphone right here. I have it set up right in front of me. And by the way, I just thought I should point this out real quick. This is a mute button and if you tap it, it turns red. Tap it back, it turns blue. So anyways, after I demonstrate it in Logic Pro, I'm going to also demonstrate this microphone using Discord. A lot of people in my microphone videos have been asking me if the microphones work with Discord or how they sound with Discord. So after I test it this way, we're gonna go and test it with Discord just to see if there's any sort of audio compression or anything like that that might change the sound of this microphone when using it with Discord. So the next audio that you hear will be from this microphone right here. Let's go. All right guys, so the audio that you are now hearing is coming from the Toner TM20. Um, I am hearing a little bit of a noise floor. It's not terrible though, this is actually kind of what I expected this microphone to sound like. I actually reviewed a conference microphone by Mono almost a year ago, and this microphone reminds me a lot of that microphone. But as you guys could probably hear, we are getting a little bit of that noise floor, a little bit of like, you know, background noise. Let's see what happens when I move further away from the microphone. Check, one, two, check. All right guys, this is how it sounds when I'm about five feet away from the microphone. This is how it sounds from about two feet away. This is how it sounds from about four inches from the microphone. And let's just go ahead and move around a little. I'm gonna grab the camera. The microphone's on the desk. I'm looking in the opposite direction. This is what it sounds like. I'm gonna stay in the same place and turn towards the microphone 
This is what it sounds like. I'm gonna go ahead and sit back down right in front of the microphone. This is what it sounds like. All right guys, so I think we have a pretty good idea of how this microphone sounds. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to test it out with Discord. So what I did is I created two Discord accounts. So I'm going to sign into one with this computer right here. I'm gonna go up to the house and sign in with another computer. I'm going to plug this microphone into that computer up in the house. And on this computer right here, I'll be screaming screen recording so that we could hear what it sounds like for the other person. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm now recording inside Discord. I have the microphone right here. You guys should probably be able to hear that. I'm going to test out the mute button right now. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. All right, I should be unmuted now. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect this microphone and then we can see how it sounds in comparison with the regular stock microphone on this iMac. All right, so give me one second. All right, guys, now we are using the built-in microphone on this iMac. I'm curious to see if they sound different from each other. I imagine that there's going to be some like sort of loss of quality since we're streaming like over the internet, but I'm not 100% sure. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and play back this screen recording and see how it sounds. All right, guys, so I'm back down here in my room and we are going to move on to the review portion of this video. So I went back and I listened to the audio that I recorded in Logic Pro, and then I also listened to the audio that I recorded in in Discord, and I just want to say, I guess from the recording that I did into Logic Pro, the audio pretty much sounded as I imagined it would. We didn't get super crisp audio like we would have gotten with a nice condenser microphone, but we did get some decent audio that I would expect to get from a $30 conference microphone. And I just want to say, it's not bad. When listening back to the Discord recording, there is a huge difference in quality between this microphone and the built-in microphone on an iMac. This microphone, in my opinion, sound a lot better than the iMac microphone. I also like how you have access to a mute button on the microphone itself. I think that's very convenient. I like how this microphone is so small, you could fit it almost anywhere. It's really inconspicuous. It barely takes up any room. But of course, guys, I would love to hear what you guys think. If you're looking for something that can produce audio quality a bit better than the built-in microphone on your computer, and you don't wanna go with like your traditional condenser USB microphone, and you want something small and compact that doesn't get in the way, I think this is a great option. So once again, guys, let me know what you guys think about this microphone down in the comments below. Below. And once again, I will have the Amazon page for this microphone linked down in the description of this video in case you want to check it out for yourself. And if you like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out tremendously. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure you go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. I upload new microphone videos every Monday and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace!